Peaceful now, but four years ago Tunis faced upheaval as thousands of students demanded the removal of the dictator Zain al Abidine Ben Ali. They succeeded, but today it seems Tunisia's youth are politically disconnected. Uh, we don't really see them in uh, really engaged in political party or in civil society. Hammamet conference delegates heard how Ziad Tuzani has set up Tunisia's first youth parliament and he stresses how politics impacts ordinary life. Young people are not really aware of the system. They don't really understand it, how it works. And when they see garbage in front of their neighborhood, they don't make the link between the people that have been elected in the municipality and the garbage in front of their neighborhood. There are role models. Tunisia's newly elected parliament has an influx of young talent. It's a great opportunity to represent the, uh, the young Tunisians and to talk about their issues, about the, uh, what they want, what, uh, what, they, what, what they want from politicians and from political parties and also from the government. Among the Hammamet delegates, a British parliamentarian offering financial support to help fund the development of Tunisia's fledgling democratic institutions. We may want to help with parliamentary capacity building, how select committees work, how uh, an independent research facility could be established for the use of parliamentarians that is, not be, that is beyond criticism, for example. Or it may be that the political parties in Britain would wish to form sister party relationships. But this is just the very, very beginning of an appraisal. Thanks to the Hammamet Conference, Libyans, Egyptians, Moroccans, Algerians and British alike are able to watch close up Tunisia's fascinating political evolution.